How's it going, everyone? It is Andre Williams, and over here we talk stocks, and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about SoFi. If you remember what I said in the previous video, I was looking for us to form a higher low. We got exactly that on the day. We do have earnings that is coming up on May the 10th. So we're looking forward to some sort of a run up. I'll talk about it further in this video. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder, you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna go over is a technical analysis. We're gonna be taking a look at the overall price action. We wanna know support, we wanna know resistance, we wanna know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're gonna be going on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We wanna know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side, and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts, and as well as some more details, so let's get to it. So we're gonna do a technical analysis for SoFi. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $6.40, being up 1.11%. On the low, it tested $6.18, and then on the high, testing $6.00, and 42 cents. So when we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 26.922 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 44.568 million shares. So we did have below average volume on the day, but we still saw some strength in the stock. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is a daily chart, you can see from the RSI down below, it is at 35.38. And then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart, we are below the 200 day, the 100 day, the 50 day, and as well as the 21 day EMA. And it's clear to see we are trading below all of our major moving averages, which puts SoFi in a bear market. But one of the positives that we want to look at on the day, we ended up forming a higher low. And where we tested support was at $6.18. So I want to see a continuation of more momentum in SoFi. And if you remember the level I talked about in the previous video, I wanted to see some price action above $6.75. So we ended up seeing a high of $6.42. So we still have some more room to move up because the moment we can get above 675 That's where I want to see the test go into seven dollars and also reclaiming this 21 day EMA at seven dollars and 19 cents And like I was saying before as well I would love to see SoFi get to eight dollars prior to earnings There's also a gap that needs to be filled right here right around eight dollars and fifty cents So filling in that gap would be possible if we have strength above eight dollars and what would make this happen? I I could see this happening with a strong earnings report because even with a market rally, I could see us getting into the mid $7 range and then earnings would decide its fate afterwards. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind. But so far, it is great to see in a technical sense, we formed a higher low. So let's see if we can continue to have some strength going into tomorrow. Now let's move on to the short interest information. So we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for SoFi. Scrolling down on the page, green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions. So taking a look at the recent filings for the third, we could start off here with Liberty One Investment Management LLC that purchased 129 shares. And we also have Sandy Spring Bank that purchased 78,280 shares. And then we have the LGT Group Foundation that purchased 205,521 shares. We do see some closed position here in regards to calls. Now, when we take a look at the short interest the off exchange short volume ratio is at 42.37 percent and then the off exchange short volume it is just over 7.70 million shares scrolling down on the page the short shares availability is at 600,000 updated 26 minutes ago and then for the short ball fee rate it is at 1.45 percent when we take a look at the history of the short volume we can see for the close of the 29th it is at 38.49 and then for the close of the second it is at 42. 
0.37. So it has gone up and in taking a look at the short interest percentage of the float being at 19.61%, SoFi does have short squeeze potential. Now let's move on to the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for SoFi. So we see here on the inflow, it is at 26.98 and then on the outflow it's at 26.26. So we ended up having an inflow day. Taking a look at the breakdown, on the large it was 1.26 million, on the medium it was 16.65 million, and then on the small it was 9.07 million. Taking a look at the outflow side, you can see on the large it was 0.84 million, on the medium it was 17.64 million, and then on the small it was 7.78 million. Taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for today, May the 3rd, we had an inflow of 0.42 million. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail side, we had more buying than we had selling. And then when we take a look at the medium, we had more selling than we had buying. And then taking a look at the large, which represents whales, institutions, and funds, we had more buying than we had selling. And then taking a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 3.29%. So this is not too bad for a stock like SoFi. We know that it comes with a lot of volatility. It trades at fairly high volume on a daily basis as well. And with the conditions that we have inside of these markets, that's why I wanna make sure you're prepared going into tomorrow. We'll talk about it in the final thoughts. So let's get into it right now. So for my final thoughts for SoFi, when it comes to the price action, if you're looking for a bullish move to the upside, the plan has not changed. I I want to see some price action above $6.75. I want to see us making that move to $7. I feel that we should be at least in the $7 range prior to earnings. And most preferably, like I was saying, it would be an accomplishment if we can get into the $8 range. Do know we have a gap that needs to be filled to the upside at $8.50. Add that to your homework. Now, if we end up seeing some weakness in the markets, which is a strong possibility, we have Jerome Powell that's gonna come out and let us know, is he gonna be sticking with the 50 basis points in regards to the rate hike? So if he ends up sticking with this, or if he ends up deciding to go below that, again, I wouldn't bet my money on that, then I'm looking for a rally inside of these markets. But if he goes above that 50 basis points, or if he sounds very hawkish, then I could see the market pulling back, and of course, this will happen to SoFi. So as far as for the downside is concerned, you already know that we have tested $6.01 and that's where we have our 52 week low. So I wouldn't be shocked if we break through $6. But as far as for that price action, we want to see SoFi staying above at least $5.86. Again, it hasn't proven to have support in this particular area. This is the information that I'm sharing with you guys. It is not financial advice. So keep that in mind. But I know a lot of my long-term investors out there are looking to add to their positions when it's trading in the $5 range. Also, we went on Fintel taking a look at the recent short interest information. It does continue to have short squeeze potential. There's a lot of shorts who are vested in this play. And then when we take a look at the recent institutional ownership, we can see institutions have been continuing to load up on shares. So again, great news for all of my long-term investors. So that's why I wanna make sure that you guys are prepared. You have a game plan. Why I always emphasize in all of my videos, do your homework, do your due diligence. Depending on the strength that we have inside of the tech sector will determine how SoFi will fare. Even though we may not have a strong green day like other stocks we've seen inside of the markets, as long as the market is strong, I'm expecting SoFi to give us at least something to the upside. Most preferably, if we can have a higher high in the 650s, I won't complain about that either. Still a lot of time for us to make that move to get to at least $6.75. So I will continue to keep an eye on this play, continue to do these videos to keep you updated, but just make sure if you're going to be trading off of the price movement, whether you're playing it long or you're playing it short, make sure you're using the right risk management. If you want to be successful when it comes to trading, it all comes down to managing your risk. Minimize those losses, ride those winners. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see how the stock performs for the next trading day. We'll talk soon.